Once the seedlings are fully grown, they need to be planted into the field. It is important to optimize this in order to reduce the loss of plants due to wrong planting. This is how a seedling should look like at transplanting. Well developed, with a nice green color, with a dense root system. Water stress is in many cases the main reason for plant loss after transplanting. Adding water prior to transplanting makes the seedling has a buffer to survive the critical stage. For the same reason, beds are lightly irrigated to improve the success of transplanting. However, make sure the beds are not soaking wet since this will hamper the transplant activities and has the risk of compacting soil when working on it. Take care while transporting the seedlings to the field. Prevent damage to stems and leaves. To have a uniform crop, make sure that distance between plants are the same. For this, use a measuring stick and after positions are marked, make holes where the plants need to be planted. At this stage, also support hole treatments such as fertilizer application or adding manure or lime can be done. When using trays or other containers, gently press out the seedling. Do not pull it from the tray or container by stem. Once removed from the container, the root ball is visible and a final check can be done if roots look healthy and well developed. Place the plants in the hole but make sure that the original root ball is completely covered but not deeper than the cotyledon. Once done with transplanting, it's important to irrigate the field to get the plants growing. After transplanting is done, make sure to clear up all the used materials and trays. In some cases, they can be reused, but when not, dispose them in a proper way. Trays that can be reused should be cleaned first. Brush them to remove the soil and rinse them with water. After that, disinfect them. For instance, chlorine is advised to prevent any problems with pests and diseases in the next seedling cycle.